Hey, the name's Cruel, that's King Rob Rule, and welcome to my no-nonsense weapon guide series for Monster Hunter Rise. These videos serve as tools to make first-time weapon use less daunting. This is in no way an in-depth guide or even a full toolkit of any given weapon. It is simply a starting point to give the fundamentals of the weapons and my own personal recommendations. If you're looking to find optimization, you won't find it here. And with that, let's get started. Hammer goes bonk. But seriously, while it may not cut tails, the hammer's strengths lie in disabling the monster through exhaustion, stuns, and KOs. Also, if you're not hitting the head, you're doing it wrong. The hammer's basic 3 hit X combo looks like this. The golf swing hit at the end is extra strong. You can combo into a golf swing by pressing A, X, X. There is also an A combo called the Big Bang combo but it requires you to successfully hit the monster repeatedly to continue the combo. The core of hammer gameplay though is charging. You can charge the hammer by holding ZR. Like the greatsword, the hammer has three levels of charge. However, charging the hammer consumes stamina and you can hold max charge without penalty as long as your stamina holds out, that is. You can also move around while charging the hammer. Each level of charge has a different animation and attack depending on whether you're moving or not, so experiment to find out what works for you. Your standard level 3 standing still charge looks like this. Your standard level 3 moving charge is this spinning top move. You can release this spin with an attack with X at any time, but if you spin more than 3 times without pressing X, you'll fall over. While charging, you can press A to enter a new stance. Notice the hammer in the top left turns purple. This essentially changes the level 3 charge attacks of your hammer. The purple stance level 3 standing still charge looks like this. It results in a lot of end lag, so you can press B to cancel the lag and roll out of it. Or, you can hold ZR briefly to cancel the end lag and go into another charge attack or combo. While moving, your level 3 purple charge does this overhead smack. You can also go straight into a level 3 charge by switching between purple and yellow charge, but it doesn't work vice versa, so keep that in mind. Let's move on to Wirebug attacks. Pressing ZR plus X does this spinning bludgeon attack. You can charge up to level 3 before launching if you like. Or you can start charging immediately after pressing ZL plus X. Pressing ZL plus A does this impact crater attack. When charged to level 3, this is by far the most damaging move of the hammer, but it leaves you wide open and costs 2 wire bugs, so make sure you have a big enough opening. Ok, let's put this all into practice. I like to start most encounters with a level 3 spinning bludgeon attack. It's cheap and effective. Afterwards, I assess the situation and start charging the hammer again. Instead of being a hit and run weapon like the greatsword, it's more of a run and hit, seeing as you can run while charging, so make use of that as much as you can. Here I go for a standard X combo into a golf swing for a nice stun. When playing as hammer, you're going to get a lot of KOs, and you have to quickly decide how to capitalise on the moment. Here I saw that I have my second wire bug recharging, so I decide to start charging my hammer and go into an impact crater as soon as it recharges for some big damage. However, sometimes you'll be out of wire bugs and still have a big opening, so for those situations, I would recommend going into a big bang combo by just mashing A on the monster's head. You can also do a spinning bludgeon attack by sliding down a hill. You simply walk down a hill while charging and you'll start sliding. Release charge and you'll do a spinning bludgeon with no use of wire bugs. Anyway, that was hammer in 5 minutes. I probably could have summarised that in 5 seconds. Charge your hammer and hit the head. But in all seriousness, I hope you learned something from the video. Don't forget to search up more in-depth guides when you get the feel for the weapon. Anyway, I've been King Rob Rule and I'll see you in the next video. Next up is Hunting Horn. Gotta go fast.